Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and I've come to show you a little bit about Unity 4. For those of you who are watching this, uh, it is uh, right now, uh, you may be in the future, but right now Unity 4 is in beta and only people who have uh, upgraded or pay, paid for uh, or pre-ordered can get the 4. So um, I upgraded my Android Basic uh, and I got the f f uh, Unity 4, uh, the beta. So I was checking it out um, and uh, I didn't know if any of you were wondering about some of the new features. I haven't gone through all of them. Uh, but there's quite a few nuances uh, in the uh, the engine's upgrade. So I haven't, I didn't really plan this video out. So uh, there's not really a whole. Uh, I, I'm probably gonna get stuck on my words a lot. So, anyways, um, he's not doing anything. There are quite a few. Um, t uh, there's tutorials and stuff, but I'm kind of just going through. Uh, some of the an new animation system with IKs and uh, uh, it's pretty awesome. So I'm, I I don't know what to say. I'm just, uh, it's really cool. Um, I'm sure a lot of you who are looking into Unity have seen this uh, this new animation system, and so you've seen a few demos of that. So instead of just harping over that, I'm going to go into some of the cool new stuff. Um, so like this this jump if I went to this jump animation um, you can see if let's say I bring in a character um, if I go over to the animations tab and I hit plus I instantly get this thing down here where I'm allowed to press play and I can see the animation uh, and there's a whole bunch of tools here I haven't actually seen these before <laughs> Uh, they must come with this guy because he's an avatar. Oh, cool! You can you can zoom in on that. I'm finding all kinds of stuff just talking about it. Anyways, um, so let's just stop that there. Uh, there's this dude avatar. Let's. I want to show you some of this avatar stuff. Um, if I go to configure avatar, you'll see that I can see the skeletal structure of this character now. Uh, which is pretty cool and if you guys are familiar with uh, Maya 2012 or motion uh, motion builder is that what it's called motion yes motion builder um, you would be familiar with what's going on over here so in Maya we have these nodes that we can hook up to our characters um, so you can see that I can see individual parts of the head the left hand the right hand and choose joints in there um, but basically, these are all just the main joints of the body. You can see it highlights the bone too. So one thing that we can do to set this up is we would click on the bones and drag them over here to the appropriate place. So if I put that on like where the left arm is, you can see I get all kinds of errors saying, oh, this is all messed up. You don't know what you're doing. What's, what are you doing? Um, so, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah. So that's just a little bit about that. Um, so if you are into uh, how Maya and all and uh, Motion Builder do their their new um, auto rigging kind of thing here, auto binding, uh, there's that. Also, there's this muscles over here section, and this muscle section, I presume, I'm not fully knowledgeable in the whole thing, allows me to uh, to. It's kind of like uh, set driven keys in Maya. You can see that I can move these sliders, and they're a little bit like set-driven keys. If I had uh, set-driven keys in Maya and I moved the sliders, uh, then it would do stuff based on the, the keyframes that I set. So this is really cool. Uh, there's actually like a million of these. If I open up body, I can open up spine, and there's like millions of millions of little nuances. Um, uh, that's his eyeball, apparently. Uh, and it's his head. So yeah, there's just millions of stuff that that this is kind of the main reason for uh, Unity 4 is this whole system, uh, which is a pretty incredible system. And from watching the videos, I believe it comes from the guys who uh, were part of creating Motion Builder and also um, part of uh, creating IK for Autodesk. Um, so yeah, I think I heard that in one of the videos. So that's why it's so awesome. 
And uh, the instancing of it is another awesome thing. The fact that we can have a uh, thousand guys, I think I have that here. Um, crowd, 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 crowd. No, I can't read. Target, ooh, ooh, motion, layer. Uh, I can't find it. Oh, well, well, I can just click on some stuff. Oh, swarm. Was that what is it called? Oh, those are scripts. What am I doing? Uh, I need to go into scenes. Ah, ooh, that's that's why. Now I can go to crowd. Sorry about that. Anyways, I can go into crowd here, and when I press play, you can see that there's like a billion guys up here running around with IKs, just stopping and rotating, going whichever way they please. Um, it's hard to find myself. I'm, I'm going to go over here and run in circles. This is amazing. Uh, but yeah, you can see there's like a thousand of these guys running around on screen and I'm not sure if the video is lagging, but it is not lagging on my machine. So that is some pretty incredible technology to have that many IKs running around. So uh, yeah, that's the main point of Unity 4 is this animation system. Also, there's some amazing uh, GUI enhancements in Unity 4. I can't seem to find it. Maybe they haven't released it for beta yet. Uh, I know that they said they will be releasing it a little later after launch, but it is really incredible. If you haven't seen it, you should look it up on uh, the Unite videos on Unity's homepage. So, uh, yeah, you can notice there's just thousands of little nuances that they added to this thing. Um, for example, if I went to all models, I can see all my models, and then, bam, in a few seconds, I just get like a million objects down here that are on the asset store, actually. So let me just go to a new scene. There we go. So I go to all models inside of my new scene, and uh, you see I have all my objects up here that are inside of uh, this actual Unity file. But then there's all these down here, which are taking a while to pop up with thumbnails, but I can click on them and see them over here on the right. So, so these are all free, and the ones below that are paid, and you can click on more to see more of them. But it's super simple now. Say I like this thing. This thing looks awesome, whoever did this. So I, that's under free assets. So I'm just going to, uh, uh, what do I do? Oh, here we go. I click on it, and up here in the top right, there's uh, import package. I can just click on that. And then this little magic hat thing will pop up and download it. And I can just hit import. And bam, I have my model now. I can drag it into the scene and make it huge rotated around and stuff so yeah there's tons of stuff in unity 4 i wish i could go over them all but i'm still figuring them out as you well noticed so that's a little preview for those of you who can't uh, get the beta right now um but there are a ton of stuff one of another favorite thing is if i click on the side thing and it goes into this orthographic view if i alt and click away it stays in perspective i think many of you remember if you click on any one of these axes previously and then try to move it it would go back. It would stay in. Uh, it would stay in uh, isometric the whole time. Um, but now, when you click on these things and rotate, it stays in perspective. And to go to isometric, you just click on that little perspective thing, and then you're in the isometric view. Uh, and you can click on the sides on that. So some really awesome stuff. Also, if you click in the middle, it switches. So a lot of really awesome stuff. Just tons of nuances, uh, tons of stuff, and well, well awesome stuff just really well made um, really well thought out some really awesome stuff and I can't wait till the full thing comes out and I really can't wait for that that new GUI system because uh, it looks amazing you should check it out so uh, I don't know what more to go over right now if I come up with more maybe I'll make another video uh, you can create your own favorites like over here and stuff but I'm just gonna stop now otherwise this video is gonna go on forever so uh, Thanks for watching, and uh, yes.